Moment in Christ, our everyday encounter with the Word of God. Psalms 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up, and have not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cry to you, and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from the grave, you have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, O you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endures but a moment, in his favor is life, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by your favor you have made my mountain to stand strong, you did hide your face, and I was troubled. I cried to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood, when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise you? Shall it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me, Lord, be you my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing, you have put off my sackcloth, and girded me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to you, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Psalms 31 In you, O Lord, do I put my trust, let me never be ashamed, deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me, deliver me speedily, be you my strong rock, for an house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, therefore for your name sake lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me, for you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit, you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble, you have known my soul in adversities, and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy, you have set my feet in a large room. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble, my eye is consumed with grief, yes, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing, my strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintance, they that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind, I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O Lord, I said, you are my God. My times are in your hand, deliver me from the hand of my enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make your face to shine on your servant, save me for your mercy sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called on you, let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have worked for them that trust in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of man, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes, nevertheless you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. O oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful, and plentifully rewards the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like, share this video with 7 more friends to help the channel take the word of God to everyone.